Riots, looting, and fire raged in Baltimore, Maryland Monday night. The riots followed the funeral of Freddie Gray, a 25-year-old black man who died in police custody earlier this month. Gray was arrested on April 12th when police found a switchblade in his pocket. He was later sent to the hospital, and on April 19th, he was declared dead from serious spine injury. Thousands of people protested on April 25th, demanding an explanation for Gray's death from local police. On Monday, the protests turned violent. At least 15 police officers have been injured, two are in serious condition. Multiple buildings and cars were set on fire. Rioters cut fire hoses that firefighters were using to put out a fire at a CVS pharmacy. Over 200 people have been arrested. A lead given to the police indicates that the riots are related to city gangs planning an attack on local white police officers. Police are investigating. Shop owner Grace Leo and her son, Ruben, visited Grace's burned out store. Ruben called it a sign of misguided anger. Why do I think the people in the neighborhood burned down the store? I don't know. I don't know, they're taking out their anger and frustration about police brutality on small businesses wherever they can. All the, all the, the, the weaker uh, parts of the population here. And it's, it's too bad that she's, uh, she's taking the brunt, brunt of this. Baltimore Mayor Stephanie Rawlings Blake called the rioters senseless thugs in a press conference. She announced a week-long curfew from 10 p.m. to 5 a.m. to start Tuesday night. Maryland's governor declared a state of emergency, calling on the National Guard to restore order to the city. More than 1,000 Maryland police officers are on standby. Riots continue to erupt, scarring American cities. Based on Bible prophecies, the trumpet expects more violent protests. For more information on the cause of these riots, read Trumpet Editor-in-Chief Gerald Flurry's article, Where America's Race Riots Are Leading.